this right here is the Rotolite Titan X1. Now, I've been playing around with it for about a month now because Rotolite sent me one of these and were so kind enough to sponsor this episode. Now, I have to admit that this is probably my new favorite light. And I'm not saying this because they're sponsoring. I always make sure that I get freedom of speech whenever I work together with sponsors. But that's probably because it's also the most expensive light we have laying around right here now. But compared to similar lights on the market, it's actually pretty affordable. So, like always, I'm going to scatter more information about the features of this light as we're going to explore five different lighting setups or tricks or hacks, whatever you want to call it. And for the first one is a situation where you have a big window. In our case, it's still early in the morning, so the room is very dark. One way to fix that is by using the Titan as an extra light source to make the outside light brighter. Now, since we'll be mixing two light sources together, it's gonna be important that both have the same color. So what I did was first take a white balance with the camera, and then I would put the Kelvin value and green magenta shift into the roto light. And that's one of the first features. It's an RGB light able to produce over 16 million different colors. And that's one of the first things that I love about this light. This one could replace so many other different lights lights. Now you could also set it up as a backlight and have the lighting color from the window match with that. If you do like to keep the same look and feel from that single window but just need to lift up the shadows a bit, you could bounce the light into the ceiling. Make sure that your ceiling is white though, otherwise you'll be mixing different colors again. For the next one, we're gonna move to the dark studio and have the Titan set up as a backlight. Now to make sure it's not too hard, I'm going to diffuse the light. Nope, not with a diffuse filter, there's actually a dial on the Titan to diffuse the light. They call it their smart soft technology, it's really cool. Now it's not gonna be soft enough for every situation, so you still need things like soft boxes, but the fact that you already have a basic diffusion built in is really awesome. So I'm gonna set this up as a backlight. In a dark room, this will almost create a silhouette of myself. I'm gonna use a simple reflection on the other side of the backlight to give myself a key light. And one of the biggest mistakes people make with bounce boards is that they reflect the light back from below. Now keep in mind that their light reflection is a light source as well. Would you place a light on the floor? You know, see what it does to your face. You get that horror drama look, which works, but in most situations, you wanna reflect the light back higher up. You can also make such reflectors yourself with a simple foam board. I even got a silver sight that I made with some aluminum foil, but you can get these four or five in one reflectors as well for a very cheap price. These usually come with a gold sight, which creates a warm light on the talent. This kind of creates a natural teal and orange look. And finally, our mirrors. Now we have a whole separate video about that, which you can find the link to in the description down below, but basically a mirror reflects almost 100% of the light back. This works really well and gives us two prominent light sources. And this brings us to lighting setup number three. For this one, we're gonna go outside. The Titan X1 has the ability to also connect V-mount batteries, which is great, so you can just take it anywhere. And since it's an overcast day, there is very little contrast and the colors are also very flat, so I'm going to create a fake low sunlight with the Titan. If you go into the menus, you can choose a filter from the Lee library. The Lee is a filter brand, we have a bunch of those, here in the studio that wrap around a light. So no longer do you have to do that with the Titan, you can just choose one from the database. Every filter also has an explanation what the mood is gonna be. Now since I'm only able to light myself, I will shoot this on a tele lens to not draw too much attention to the backgrounds. So this shot definitely works and has a lot more dynamic due to the contrast and the color created from the low sunlight. In post-production, I also added a little bit of that orange hue into the background, which sells the effect even more. Lighting trick Number four, since the Titan has a big library of lighting effects, we can use that to mimic a specific light source, like a television. Now, this will automatically animate the light and you get the feeling that you're looking at a television. If you don't have one of these fancy lights, you could also spin the brightness of your existing lights. Now, I do want to mention that this is an older controller of an aperture light. Their newer models have such effects built in as well. However, the Titan X1 definitely has a lot more options and customizations that I've never seen before four and a light. Some other variations are a fire, which together with a smoke machine creates the illusion like your house is on fire. Or the famous cup car light, which we can adjust the speed, type of lights, etc. from. Now for those of you who are familiar with the Aperture Nova P300C, it's probably one of the competitors of the Titan, and although that I love the Nova so much, the Titan wins in many categories, like brightness, 
features, durability, etc. But they lose in price, which is pretty obvious. I mean, you can't cramp what the Titan has under $2,000. Anyways, this brings me to the last lighting trick. If you ever need to shoot a dark scene like a garage or in a basement, it's not going to be usable if you actually keep it dark. So we're going to have to add some kind of light in there. In this case, make sure that your light makes sense. I've placed the Titan behind me with a greenish color, and this could be an old fluorescent light bulb. Having it behind me keeps my face dark, and thus we retain that dark look. But we can actually see something, you know? Another idea is to choose a moonlight filter, and we have the light set up on the side. Optional, you could also place a Kukulurus in front of the light. This is basically a cardboard with a shape in it to create a specific shadow. Like these lines, which could come from blinds. But this gives a great result as well, retaining that dark basement look. Now, I loved working with the Titan X1, and I can't say much negative about it, except for one thing, the Titan has a lot of different DMX protocols built in, which is great for professional studios. But for creators like us, there is no free app that allows you to control the lights, which is necessary because even though that the menus and touch panels are very intuitive, when you have your light sitting above you, you can't control it. The only way to control the Titan is through the Luminaire app, which is supported by the Titan, that is amazing, but the app costs a hundred bucks. But that's the beauty about today's technology. If Rotolite decides to make your own app one day, then that will be perfectly possible and your current Titan X will probably be compatible with it as well. But all in all, if you have the budget for it, the Titan X1 is definitely a light worth checking out. You can find the link to it in the description down below. So those were my five lighting tips and my experience with the Titan. Big thanks to them for their support. Thank you for watching and as always, stay creative.